All right, got this shook up, got the oven on heating. On this thing, I think I'm gonna do uh, something different. I'm gonna put each one in individually because, uh, you know, I'm gonna put it in at about 1475. You let it go to 1500 for like five, 10 minutes. And then uh, that'll get the uh, oil time to heat up. But then I'm gonna put the next one in, you know, so when I open the door and all that, temperature's gonna drop back down to like 1450, 1475. That time I'll put the next one in, but to give the oil time to cool down. Because each time you quench your blade, that brings the oil way up. You want your oil about 120 to 170 Fahrenheit. So if I, uh, you know, if I do one after the other, like I usually do, sometimes, I mean, it works both ways, but I just kind of want to see if it's better, you know, if I do them separately instead of all at once. Pretty much good here. Maybe just a few little spots to touch up. And you say the handle doesn't matter about how much you put on because you want it, uh, we're not dipping that, but it's still going to be in the oven and it's still going to be hot, so. So, yeah, I like how it is, so I think I'm keeping it that way. I noticed yesterday that there were shadows on everything. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So that turned out pretty good. I like where it's at. I painted on so it'll have time to dry. Thinned it out. Gonna hang this one back up. <clears throat> Let's see, check this one. Pretty even, huh? Pretty good. Yeah, I think we're good on this one. I like how that turned out. Should be interesting. Everything's covered. broke off but other than that whoops one little spot that I just made <laughs> alrighty I think we are good alright so now like I said oven 1475 I'm gonna throw the kitchen knife in first tip down so when I pull it out it goes right in I'm only gonna put you know a bucket yeah up to here actually let me put some clay here because I don't want this I'm gonna have to file down this handle so that's gonna be a pain in the butt definitely want this handle to be soft. That should dry out. It should, I mean, it won't really matter anyway. Let's get all these little fragments off. Alright, touch it up here. Alright. So I think we're ready to go. Just wait for the oven now. Alright, let me put this away. We'll go check to see where our temperature at. 900 degrees. Nice. 
1475 and uh, next stop is the I got yeah 1475 that I'll put the oil on and all that stuff so all right meet you back then all right I'm gonna show this setup too this is what I put my ammo thing on it's just a little cooker like 20 bucks I go ahead and I set that under here yeah plug it in right by the wrong handle set it like this it's got a double brick behind there to level things out and I'll put a brick here to level things out too Let me get a piece of steel to put on the thing. Balance everything out. That way it doesn't have as much travel. Alright. Oops! Alright, let's just a little bit back. Alright. So yeah, see? There's the temperature gauge. I like to turn that to high. Just for 5 or 10 minutes. And then I'll check it, once it gets up to like 120, I'll cut it down to medium, and then let it go for a little bit, and then once it gets up to 130 or so, I'll cut it off. So I'm hopefully, by doing each one separate, when the temperature rises, by the time the other one heats and all that, the, the oil will cool back down. All right, uh, here we go. Come on, uh. So yeah, see it went all the way back down to 1320. So that's why I think I'm gonna have to, uh, but it'll come up a lot quicker. So, <clears throat> that's why I think I'm gonna do them single because when I open the thing and put it in, by the time I open it and close it, it'll come back up to <clears throat> 1500, but that will give me time to heat, you know, for let to once, once I get the uh, oil to where I want it, I'm going to turn it off. I usually use this. You know, it's got a thermocouple attached. So you turn it on, you wave the thermocouple to tell you what the heat is. I'm not going to go into how a thermocouple <laughs> works, but yeah. Basically, it, you know, differentiates the heat, so that'll tell you what it is in there. Once I get it to like 120 to 150, then I'll turn it off. Then when I dunk it, the best part is, you know, it'll go up to like 170, maybe even 200. So then I put the next one in, that will start cooling down as, you know, the other one's in, and we'll be good. Uh, it's gonna take a while now. It's only back up to 1374. All right, so we probably got another half an hour. So, all right, I'll see you back. Uh, once it gets up to 1500 down, you're gonna have to take five more minutes. All right, be back then. All right, I'm just gonna check the oil, it's been a little bit. Yeah, about 112. I don't know if you can see that. 112. So, let me kick it down to medium. Alright, now watch when I open it. You'll see now that I'm opening the oven, the temperature's just going to drop right there.
Look at all that smoke. <laughs> Better shut up the fan. Haha, <laughs> that just fell off. That's the rest of them. Yeah, that's where that worked. <laughs> I was worried about getting that clay off, so. Hopefully it worked, though. Whew. I need to shut up a fan. Now, see, it's back down to 1489. So we'll put the other one back in. Next one in. There we go. Alright, uh, here it is. It's probably going to drop again. Woo! That's fine. That's my other glove. Dropping way down, I'm sure. Yep, yeah, 1370. But it should come back up. That's what this big fan is for. <laughs> Uh oh, that's not good. Yeah, see now that the oil has had time to move around, it's actually up to like 150, 127, 130. All right, it's coming down. I turned the camera on because it was, yeah, what, look, what? 124, 136, 149, so. This takes a while. There we go. Alright. That's one thing I've learned. I thought it was just 5200. If you test it when it's hot, you know, it bites in. But as it cools, there we go. Alright. Had me scared. I, I, <laughs> I've done 1095 before, but you know. Alright, here we go again. Try two. Five minute countdown. This should be a lot better because I got something to grip to. This one, you know, I didn't know if I had a good grip. Hopefully, that means we got a moan. Can't wait to clean this bad boy up. All right, you know, I'm just killing time. <laughs> Check my oil again. Yeah, it's at 150 before. Yeah, it's still at 130. Good. Yeah, see, I think that works good because then your oven has time to, you know, put them in each one. The oil has time to cool down because you're not, you know. When I checked it after a couple minutes, it went from like 120 up to like 150. Then if I did the second one, it probably would have dropped to 170, 200. And then the third one would have been, you know, not as easy to heat treat or it might have failed. It probably would have been all right, but it's better to be safe. Yeah, when he's all cooled down, I'll go wash it off, but look at that. Most of that any scale came right off. There's nothing. You know, if anything that does stick, a little bit of soap and water. These are actually just burn marks, you know, that's not even... So, this might be a little right here. Might have got a little oxidation under here. Which might actually leave some spots to help with the hormone, but we'll see. Oh yeah. Don't forget to clean off the oil. Because when you grab it, grab the steel, We'll leave a spot there. I mean, it will most likely be under the handle, but, you know, try to do the best you can. There we go. And notice how you grab it too, so you can get it in there.
<laughs> and the handle should say soft. Turn off on this one side, it should be alright. The third one. Oh, it didn't even drop. I did it so quick. Alright, this time I don't have the wrong glove on. <laughs> yeah, we're down to 1450. Good. Alright, where's our oil at? 135. Yeah, about 130. All right. Let's see if we can get this one cleaned up. Good, good. Oh, of course the tail's hotter than them, don't you? <laughs> now watch, it probably won't skate because it's still hot. Oh, well, well, no, make a liar out of me. <laughs> You see the back bite. So this one might even have a harder. You know why? Because I left it in longer. I might have pulled this one out too early. But it's still skates. This might only be like a 62 though. So we'll see. I did leave this one in the whole time. But it'll be interesting to see how this one turns out. You can see the big old. Yeah, it looks like it's got a line to it. Let's hope. Ooh, that handle, I don't feel like that handle through the glow. That thing's so hot. Alright, yeah, see, we're already back up to 1480, so. We're already over critical. Straightening things up. Woo! <laughs> yeah, we got some straightening, but, but actually, where it got heat treated, it's straight. The curve. Yeah. The curve is like right here. It must be the point between the heat and the, you know. I don't know if you can see that on camera. See how this one looks. This one actually looks pretty straight. I just heard the thing click off. That means it's at 15. So. Oh shit. Oh shit, shit, shit. It, it ran out of time and went to the step sticks and started counting down. I forgot all about the time setting. I only set it for 20 minutes each. Woo! Glad I caught that. We got all the way up to 1496 and started climbing back down. So where are we at? Man, I'm glad I was watching that. It shouldn't be too bad because it was that, you know. We just have a... Oh shit, I threw my own freaking... Alright, well this is going to be a pain in the ass. I put it to 13, the 1300, not the 1500. I should have known five was... Ah. Oh, good. <laughs> it's all the way back up to 1450 already. Good, good, good. See, that's one thing about a heat treat oven. Even though it's climbing down or whatever, it'll climb right back up once you get it up to a certain temp. So that was a minor delay. Yeah, 
Yeah, see how he's fighting, skating, fighting, skating. <laughs> all right, we're already back up. 1494, 1495. Really, the only light struck the whole five minutes. It's been soaking the whole time. Yeah, I'll give it a few more minutes. All right, let's do this. I mean, that's the thing, people say 1095 is really difficult and all that. I mean, as long as you follow the basics, you know, it's not too bad. Don't take too long when you're pulling it out of the oven, uh, you know, even the forge, whatever. When you're pulling it out of the fire and into the oil, take your time, try to make it as quick, but don't rush and drop it and all that other stuff. And it's how you grab it too. It's like, you wanna make sure you grab it So it's tilted down. Even if you're doing the whole thing, you want to plunge it, tilt it down into it. I hear the clay busting off. <laughs> Yeah, see that's what I didn't do about the kitchen knife. I got lucky. You're supposed to watch it when the oil stops boiling. You know you're pretty good. Alright. <laughs> there goes the clay. that this time is that handle is still hot 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 unplug everything we're done here let's see if it skates right off the bat uh see now it bites now when I come back Hopefully, I won't be alive. <laughs> Man, these S7s get so hot. I'm thinking I'm going to have to return this thing. I got it just to do uh, videos, but I found a refurbished uh, iPhone 6. Now I know why these things have a 10 minute limit. All right. Uh, next stop, the washing room to wash yourself with soap and water. Then we'll do the HR testing. Alrighty. This one's still kind of hot. I mean, I can grab it, but we'll do these first. Bring my little bucket. I always try to keep this bucket around. Um, the water in my house gets scaldy hot, so I like to try to use as hot as possible. I'll use dishwashing soap from the dollar store. Scrub them, then soak them, then scrub them. Yeah, soak them right off.
Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Girl. All right. I wish I had the HRC thing, but this is all I got. So. Oh ho ho ho! That's 65. 65. It's catching where the clay was, there's little spots. Nice. 65. Uh, yeah. And then it catches. Nice. And this one actually came out. This one came out the straightest. <laughs> this one. This one looks like it has a warp break right here. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw these in the temper. And this one is what's right here. So I'm going to throw this in the temper. And then after the second temper cycle, I'll get everything straightened out. But all right. He's going in for temper. All right. It has been about two hours. I think about an hour and a half. Yeah, about two hours. Hour and a half, two hours. Temper cycle. The first one is done. So that's it. It's like uh, 1230 at night. So I'm just gonna let this cool down tomorrow. I'll come, I'll do the second cycle. You know, flip them over, put them back in. I think it's at like 410, 415. And uh, yeah, put them in for another hour and a half to two hours. Then, well, no. I take that back. Tomorrow, I will put them on blocks to straighten them and then put them in the tempering aisle. Aisle. Put it in a tempering cycle. I think that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. Successful, all three knives, 65 skated. So, I'm real happy. The anti scale washed off. If you go, but when, when you watch this, when you see all the, the fire coming off, that's why the rest of it turned black. But the anti scale worked. Alrighty. Check out these moon lines. That should be, well, it's, yeah. The tempera colors, that bronze. But hopefully that will be, you know, when the moon shows up. So now what I'm gonna do, make sure this is clean surface plate. Off. See what we got to do here. Not that some of the clay was out. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to take a sanding block just to make sure I got any of the burrs off the edges. to come in a little bit this way. Yeah, See, that's what I thought. The handle looked a little up. This might be able to just, since we didn't heat treat the handle, all I'm really worried about is the blade. Uh, yeah, we got stuff playing the blade. Well, no. If you hang the handle off, the blade is flat. So, yeah, all we need to do is the handle. And since we didn't do anything to the handle, I can do that after. So, we go with this one. Go like this. 
I think this one's gonna be the worst of them. At least it was, it was all banana. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if the heat treat straightened it out? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. So, yeah, this one has to go that way. So we need two pieces of steel. This is pretty flat, so we're good. All right, so here's what we do. Go get a couple washers. This one has to go to the least, I think. Right? Okay. Yeah. So, if it's toggling like this, that means this has to come down. So we're gonna put it like this, like this. Just a little bit past even. See? Now this one should be good to go. Here we go. And also, you know, we're going to surface grind all this, so little variants don't matter. It's just the bow back and forth. Unless it's warped really bad like that, then uh, you might be screwed. All right, see how it wobbles like this? So we flip it over. I'm going to use two washers on this. All right, now we just put it into the second temper. So, here we go. Yeah. And temper colors come out real nice. You can see the differential of the lines. Here we go, into the oven. And we put it in, same temper, you know, two hours. Hopefully they'll fit. <laughs> yeah, the lines came out real nice. <laughs> and here we go. Be back in two hours. Let this cool off. And then, well, I'll be back about half hour. Set this straight. All right, so it's only been about 10 minutes, but I have an idea. These things are still hot. So, hopefully these are all right. I have to check it on the block. Right. What I'm going to do is... I think I might have gone too far. I don't know. I think I went too far on this one. I'm going to take these two hot blocks. These are burning my fingers. <laughs> Holding my thumb. Ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> See if that straightens those out. I'll leave that in there to cool. <laughs> well, it's moving out. It's moving.
and straight all the way to right here. And this is soft because it's moving easily, so I'm gonna wait and do something else with that. Whoops. Alright, this one is pretty good. That little wiggle, that'll be taken out with the service grinder. This one, let me hit it a few times too. Right. I had the room for an anvil to get one. <laughs> Come out with the service grinder. Yep. Service grinder will take care of that. This one just has to be done the handle. All right. Temperature done. Thank God. Man, this LED, watch this. <laughs> At first I was like, this thing doesn't work at all. Then I realized I didn't have it turned up all the way. Anyway, so hopefully I can start bringing better videos. I was working on some two inch uh, aluminum wheels for my uh, horizontal, because that's got like plastic wheels. But, you know, I can't seem to get this straight. I gotta go watch some more videos. You know, it's like one way out. So, I've been working, I've never used a four jaw chuck before, so I gotta go do some more studying. Anyway, tomorrow or next video is uh, starting to grind these bad boys. Alright, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and uh, take it easy.